Hey everybody, and welcome to a methed up wild ride with Steve-O. We've got poopies, and the good news is he is now clean and sober. The bad news? Well, we are going to hear a lot of that. He has been through the ringer. And you know who else went through the ringer? My lady. My lady Lux. I put her through a lot, a lot, a lot on my multimedia comedy special, The Bucket List, which is, of course, now available at stevo.com. You would be out of your mind not to see how crazy that is. But back to poopies. He's arguably even more lovable than ever. And man, he's more poopies than ever. So let's get into it. People of the universe, I bring you Poopies. Oh. Yeah. What's up? And this is your first time in the van. The other time we had you on the Wild Ride podcast, you were on the tour bus. Yep. And you were doing stand-up comedy with us. Yep. That was so much fun. Where was that? Pen, uh... I know that we had him in uh, Missouri. That was at yep, a college. Missouri, and we were in um, Ohio. Indiana. 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 I think Indiana we did the podcast. That was right after that the was, like uh the jousting. That right? Was, right? Yeah, 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 the jousting was sick. That was we did our podcast at two AM. Right. Wow. Yeah, we did it after that your was show. a long right. day. Okay. Have now, you done have you done stand up since? Um yeah, I actually went to the did one at the improv in Orange County. Nice. Yeah, but what the Irvine improv? Yeah. I don't really remember it though, because I was freaking I wasn't sober. It was back in the day. So we might day. as well break the news that Poopies has become clean and sober. Yep, yep. And you recently celebrated nine months yep. of sobriety. So awesome. And you take sobriety very seriously. Yeah, I do. I have to fight for my sobriety every day. And Steve-O, you are a big, big help in my sobriety. Wow. Well, Steve-O actually made a phone call. I showed up to a meeting... And I was like, Steve, I need help. I need, I need, you know, I, cause I was like living at my friends. I got out of the U-Haul living at my friends. Yeah. Let's and, explain what was going on with the U-Haul. You were uh, living in a U-Haul truck. Yeah. Living in a U-Haul truck. Um, smoking, smoking crystal meth. <laughs> All right. And, I don't mean to laugh, but that's pretty funny. Yeah. No, it's not funny, but. It's gnarly. Um, it was gnarly, and yeah, I kind of just like didn't really care about anything <clears throat> except my addiction, and you know, kind of wasn't surfing, wasn't hanging out with my friends, just wasn't filming YouTube. Kind of just went down that really dark path of addiction, and thank God I'm freaking sober now. I I can't believe like I never thought like getting sober was like fun you know and it's like i'm so much happier now like i don't know it's hard to explain you got to really like right. do it to understand you know I, I understand but yeah everything like life is so much better like i have a great apartment and i moved to playa del rey yep and i got a great apartment with my amazing girlfriend hannah may and yeah yeah now i'm i'm almost 10 months sober on the 7th Yep. So, yeah. How, um, how long ago did he do our our podcast? When when was that? Maybe like that a year was, ago. It was like least, a year. Right? So then you had like two months after that podcast where you just went ape shit. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, when I got home, because I after the tour after your tour, I was kind of like withdrawing, and I got home and just like from withdrawing what withdrawing from what from drugs. And, yeah, and alcohol. Have you been um, candid about the time when I think uh, Jackass was still being filmed, and you uh, ended up like almost dying, like ambulance to the hospital with a fentanyl overdose? Oh yeah, that was gnarly. I was trying to keep that like no one find out about that. But yeah, it was. <laughs> well, they're going to find out about it now. Well, yeah, we can, okay we can just move it? on and cut it out if you want. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, whatever, dude. What do you care? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> part of your story. Yeah, it's part of the story for sure. Um, and, and how did that happen? As I, I, it was our last weekend filming. And you were trying to do a little bit of sniffle snacks. Yep, I was trying to do a little bit of sniffy snack, a little sneaky snack. 
some and, blow. And, yeah, by that we, we mean the, the powder cocaine. Yep. And um, I actually went and saw Rachel Wolfson doing stand up up on top of this garage. And it was our last weekend in the in the hotels um, in um, Universal, Universal City. City. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I'm just going to. I went back to my hotel and I was like, fuck, it's my last night here. You know, I want to go out and party. And I went out to freaking um, Cabo Grill and there's this huge line. And I was hammering off wine, you know. That was before I got addicted to to the bad stuff. But um, yeah, and I was hammered on wine. I was like, "Fuck, I need something to wake me up." And I asked this like random person on the street for some cocaine, and they gave like I had like forty bucks, and they gave me like half a gram. And I took two key bumps in the line, and all of a sudden I was freaking. I woke up in the ambulance. Oh shit! Yeah. And luckily, I was, like, wrapping it out with these people in front of me, these super cool black chicks. And, like, I think they um, called the ambulance or called 911. What's the last thing you remember? Just doing a couple key bumps, and then it kind of just went blurry. And then I saw, I went to, like, the darkest, like, you know when you cover your eyes and then, like, it, and then you keep layering it and it gets darker and darker? Mm. That's what I saw, like, the darkest, darkest color. And I was like, what the fuck? What's going on, you know? And, so then and I was you, dead. Did your heart stop? Yeah, they had a freaking... Put the freaking... Defibrillator? The, the pads on you? No, they didn't shock the me. The Narcan? The Narcans. They, I, had, oh. I woke up with Narcans in my chest. Jesus. And I was like, they're like, he's alive. Wow. He's and alive. I, yeah, and then I went to... They took me to the Hollywood Pesper, For Presbyterian? Presbyterian Church. And I was like, it was like 4 a.m. And I was like, fuck, I got to get out of here. I like, I can't let anyone find out. I'm pretty sure they didn't take you to a church. Or yeah, not the <laughs> church, the hospital. You think the Hollywood Perspiration <laughs> Church. This boy needs to pray. Yeah, yeah, I needed that too. <laughs> but yeah, and then I snuck out of the hospital. At in like a, 4 a.m. In a gown and everything? Yeah, I got a, I got an Uber out of there. In a you, gown. Uh-huh. With no underwear on. No, <laughs> just, yeah. I'm trying to remember who told on you for that like because uh, yeah because i called rachel and i was like rachel i freaking just od'd then like that morning you know and then maybe rachel told everybody yeah i think so i don't <laughs> yeah i don't know was that your first time od'ing yeah was so scary and i'm such a dumbass too because when i went back home i started doing blow again too how soon not the same bag no <laughs> <laughs> how soon did you start doing blow that like, night probably that la next weekend that's how bad my addiction was with drugs Jeez. When did it go to meth? Fuck, when I was looking for blow at this one <laughs> bar and this guy's like this guy's like I don't have any blow but I got this. Where were you in Hawaii? No, I was in Carlsbad. You never did any ice in Hawaii? Um I tried it like once or twice but I didn't really get addicted, you know. Is I, meth and ice the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think ice is just somehow like a gnarlier version of it. It's so bad. It's so bad, but it's so addicting, you know, like once you try it and you get a taste of it, like you don't, you just want more and more. So this time you like, you had the whole bag, so you got to use it, but then you like went home with some or something. No, so, you so were able this to keep guy using said it he has, he's like, no, but I got this and it was a, some meth and he was, he smokes it. So we went to his car and I took like a little, you know, he like held it for me and lit it for me. I didn't know how to do any of that shit. And then like. The next day, dude, I stayed up all night and shit. And the next day, like, I called him up because he went <laughs> home and I called him up. I was like, hey, can I come over, you know? And he's like, yeah, come over. So then it just, like, I kept coming over to his house and he kept freaking feeding it to me. Shit. Then did he start selling it to you? No. So oh, no. He, he just kept letting me use his pipe and stuff. And then, like, I kind of just hung out with him all day because I was just wanted to freaking. What city? In Carlsbad. Huh. And I'd hide out in his house because I didn't want anyone to see me all fucked up on meth and shit. And like and then he's like, All right, dude, you gotta fucking stop bugging me. Like, here's the here's the plugs number and like here's where you go get your pipe. Wow. <laughs> and then I fucking what a, became what a bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What a bro. And then I became officially a tweaker. And I like despise tweakers, dude, and I became one. 
It's heavy. Yeah. When you were leaving the hospital, you worried production would find out? Like, you worried you'd get yeah. fired off the movie yeah, or something? Yeah, because I didn't want any, any of, you know, the crew members or my friends to find out, you know? Yeah. Because I think they would just be super pissed and, like, look down on me unless, I don't know, I just, like, felt like they'd be bummed. So what He's, was the reaction? Because everybody did find out. Um, so they didn't really tell me they found out until, like, mm. I got in trouble with something and then, like, actually Steve-O was like, fucking, you fucking OD'd and shit. And then... Oh, well, yeah, because I was mad at you because we uh, brought you to one of my shows on my oh, tour. Oh, yeah, and my stupid fucking friend signed the yeah, wall. Yeah, I mean, there was He wasn't the only that. one to sign it. And, Did I you mean, sign it, too? What, whatever, it didn't matter. But we put you in an Uber. I don't, think, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. We, we ordered you an Uber yeah, home. Yeah, ordered you an Uber home. Would, like, Scott got, like, his... A his, notification. We had a... a paid for a cleaning yeah, fee. I was, yeah, I was hitting my, my weed pin, I think. Yeah. The cleaning and I, fee oh, and the alcohol. A, and I, yeah, I had a beer in there. <laughs> Yeah, and it was bad. It was like, just bad. Dude, like, yeah, it was super disrespectful. Like Scott was like, "We use this Uber for business stuff, and you're trying to get our account shut yeah. down, and like you're acting a fool, and your buddy's like vandalizing the the venue, and mm -hmm. and like you know, and it was just kind of a bummer. But like stuff like that was pretty common. Like if you're gonna invite poop somewhere, then you know that's kind of like what would happen. Gotta say, that really was always a very safe bet. And in the future, there is a new safe bet from a new sponsor of the Wild Ride Podcast, which I'm happy to tell you that I've been using for almost an entire decade. This sponsor is Shopify. And no matter what stage of business you're in, even if it's just starting out with a website, Shopify will get you to the next level. It does it all. Website, no matter what you're selling, even if it's got nothing to do with physical merchandise, maybe you're selling tickets to an event and that's all it is, just sell the ticket and, and maybe you've got a video on demand service and there's no physical merchandise, it's Shopify any form of physical merch, anything you can possibly sell, Shopify is the way to do it. Shopify is what I use, and again, it's how you take your business to the next level. Plus, they've got a great deal for you, which is that you can have a $1 a month trial period if you go to shopify.com slash stevo. That all has to be in lowercase letters. Again, shopify.com slash stevo. And why would you do this? Because maybe it's time to get that website. Maybe it's time to launch that business. And if you have the business, maybe it's time to take it more seriously and bump it up to the next level. Again, Shopify is how you do that. So shopify.com slash stevo for the $1 per month trial period. And let's get back to it. Yeah, that was at yeah. the same time that all the, all this was going on with like the OD and the and the Bray improv. The, yeah, maybe like a couple months after. Yeah, it was all around the same time. There was another time where uh, you guys were promoting um, Jackass Forever uh, w with the UFC. Oh and, yeah, like, that was bad. You were like, there's an open bar. We we're in Dana White's freaking lounge. Was that in Vegas when you came out and you're doing the crane? He's like trying to pants Dana White at the <laughs> UFC. Yeah, I freaking <laughs> I was hammered. Did you get him off? No, no I, I mean, like, like a, I think he was just kind of faking it. I was yeah, like, yeah. Like, air, still, an like, air pants, you know? Right. But I still got up out of my seat and went over there and was like trying to be cool and like impress Knoxville and the boys and shit. And like, check this out and fucking like air pants them. I didn't touch him, but I was like, and they're like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, it, it was, was uh, bad, dude. Damn. Yeah, open bar at freaking Dana White's Lounge. And then, like, the Happy Dad or the Nelk Boys were there. Mm -hmm. So I was all pumped. Steve will do it. It's like fucking, we're doing, like, shotgunning Happy Dads and shit. And I felt so bad because, like, I asked Pontius' his, uh, wife, um, she, I was like, hey, can you film this real quick? And it's me and, me and Steve will do it fucking shotgunning happy dads and like and Pawnee's like what the fuck are you doing dude like my wife's not a filmer you know oh wow 
Yeah. I think Pontius had kind of reached a point that night where... He was over me, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like, like, I was sloppy drunk. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a I'm rough I'm so time. glad I'm out of that, like, fucking shit, dude, because I was just pissing people off and disrespecting situations and just being a kook, you know? How about Shark Week 2? Shark Week 2 got hammered. I, I mean, the, hammerhead the, the, shark. Here, here's what I heard because I was oh, on the plane. On the plane, I wasn't Bro. on. I, I was on the first Jackass <laughs> Shark Week. I did not go on the second Jackass yeah. Shark Week. And you would have been pissed. I heard, I heard that um, on the flight there. Maybe there's like a layover or something, or, or like, but like at the airport, flying to it, Poopies is just getting obliterated in the airport. And then, like, getting on the airplane, like, blaring, like, speakers, like, v vaping, like, blowing pfft, the huge clouds of vape smoke. Like, in the plane? Of, like, like, going, <laughs> like, he's, like, trying to get kicked off the plane. And, like, everybody, this is, like, a production, you know? Like, like no regard for if he gets kicked off the plane. Like, his contract to do the show, how's he going to get there? Like, it's funny, it's like, now then, that is some Steve-O shit. Like, <laughs> big time. <laughs> back in the day. And, and then, uh, and then when they were at Shark Week, like, Poopies didn't, like, like, you didn't have any money, and you were like, hey, like, can I, like, like, uh, I don't know, borrow some money or like some they, they you didn't have a credit card to put down for the hotel room. Yeah, I didn't have a credit card. So Shauna like let me use her credit Shauna card. Shauna puts the credit card down. And I wasn't going downstairs for dinners. I was just getting room service. She's like, do not abuse this card. And then sure enough, when they check out of the hotel room, Poopies has like racked up like some crazy. Eight hundred bucks. Eight hundred bucks. And I was like tripping too. I was like, what the fuck? Because there's this one night where <laughs> there's this one night where I like stayed in and then like all of a sudden there's like another big bill on there. And I was like, what uh, happened? Yeah, you couldn't remember? Yeah, I couldn't remember. Because you were drunk? Yeah. <laughs> and then like I went up to the desk and I was like, yeah, like, um, I don't remember like spending all this money and they like took some of the money off. Oh wow. <laughs> and Shauna was pissed. She was pissed, I remember. And dude, I felt like I was in it was the worst like thing ever cuz I'm we're supposed to be having a good time and everyone's pissed at me. And dude, I was like, "Fuck, dude, what the fuck did I do?" Well, you were having a good time. Not when everyone got pissed at me. Yeah. Because when everyone's pissed at me, I'm I'm just bummed, you know? So we painted a picture of what it was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want me freaking drinking. And and then what happened was uh, I reached out to somebody I know who, who owns and runs a rehab. And yeah, but why did you reach out? Did you call him and say you need help? Or did you... I, had, had, what was the last day like for you? Like, why did you reach out? I think because, uh, like, I was in my friend's um, house, Brandon Glade's house, um, in a detox like a residential detox because he's been through the program and stuff and like he's he's like our mentor like one of our mentors and i was doing good and then new year's came around and i freaking relapsed and then he's like dude you gotta fucking figure shit out dude like so i went to with tommy i went to sh uh sh a a meeting <laughs> You're not well, wait, to, why is it's this? An, oh, it's oh. anonymous. <laughs> anonymous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> that crucial so second I, A. I relapsed on New Year's and then I went <laughs> to a place and saw Steve-O. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what'd you, how'd you relapse on New Year's? What, what, what happened? Fuck, I don't know. I got in a, like argument with my girlfriend and then like we never ended up meeting up and then... And then you just went off the rails. Yeah. 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 So then, we're, like we we encountered each other at this gathering, <laughs> and uh, and and what, what, you had like some funny rock bottom. You described like, I, uh, what was it like? Um, you couldn't afford a lighter or something like that, or like. What, oh my rock bottom story. Yeah. Was like, yeah, I was in San Jose, and this guy took off with my U-Haul, which was my home. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and and then I I I didn't have my um, debit card because it was in the U-Haul, so I was using my phone to pay for things, and so my phone died, 
and I had to beg for change on this on the gas station in San Jose. And that's where I was like, What was it that you were trying to buy that you had a phone charger? A phone, that's what it was. Mm. Not a lighter, a phone. He was like, I couldn't afford a phone charger. I had to beg for change to buy a phone charger. And that was a bridge too far for poopies. Yeah. That was when poopies was ready to accept help. Yep. Yeah. For sure. And then I finally got back to Carlsbad and then went to this gathering and saw Steve O. And it's like, Steve was like, all right, if I make this call for you, you got to do it like 110%. Yeah. I was like, yes, I'll do it. Like, I'll do anything, you know? Because mm-hmm. it gotten so bad. And, and so you got scholarship into a, a, a dope rehab. Yep. Can I mention the rehab? I think you can. Pace Academy. Pace Academy. Mm-hmm. Yep. They but, helped me out huge. And Steve O's like freaking saved well, me. Well, it was all my buddy Lenny. Yep, Lenny, dude. He's the man. Lenny from Pace. He's, he's taken in a number of people who uh, I, I asked him to. That's so awesome. I, I, won't, I won't name anybody else, but uh, out of everybody, I think that you really put the most into it. Yeah. And like, you, you've been clean and sober ever since. Yep. Yeah. Wow. I've put so much work in, like therapy, just, dude, so much. Like, I remember when I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do 90 days, you know? And then I had a talk with Tommy, and then I, yeah, I was like, I want to do the ninety days. Like I get to do the ninety days, you yeah. know. That's right. Man. Like mm-hmm. I, you got to take advantage of these ninety days because you're not gonna have another chance. You know, it's like it's kind of expensive going into those rehabs. You know. How about that? Poopies is taking advantage of his opportunities to become a better version of himself. And I got a way that you can do the very same thing, and it is called Whoop. What's Whoop? It's this band I wear on my wrist. It's the most sophisticated fitness tracking device known to man, and it tells me all kinds of stuff about what's going on with my health, my rest, my recovery, my fitness how much activity I'm doing. And if I'm honest, uh, I'm not doing a lot of activity because I tore my meniscus. And so I'm uh, really, really knowing about how much I'm not moving my body. But that's part of the deal, man. You got to know what's going on with your body. And if you want to get to another level in your fitness, with your recovery, your rest, all the rest of it, then take advantage of this opportunity to be a better version of yourself by going to whoop.com. That's W-H-O-O-P.com. And use the promo code Stevo to get 10% off at checkout. That's 10% off this membership that is going to give you all kinds of insight into becoming a better you. One last time, that is whoop.com. And use the promo code Stevo for 10% off at checkout. Now let's get back to it. For sure. Not when so, it's free. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll, you know, that's my one chance, you know? Right, 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 right. So. Yeah, I think that yeah. the, like, I, I ended up, like, freaking being a good influence on other other kids in there, too. And, like. I, I got that. I got I got regular reports. Sick. About, uh, like, updates about how you were doing. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. It was awesome, dude. I freaking did a lot of work on myself. A That's lot epic, of work, man. Mm-hmm. So now I'm not the sh- the shitty drunk poopies anymore. I'm like, That's good, man. Yeah. One of the gnarliest stories I ever heard of you. I think you even said it on one of your podcasts. I couldn't believe that you did this, but you used to <laughs> you used to fucking take bong loads of flies, flies. yeah, <laughs> for yeah. like five bucks, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, the the five dollar like bugs. Um, yeah, what was yeah, it? It was flies. He was dead sh- flies out of the windowsill. And you just snap them. <laughs> it tasted really metallic-y. <laughs> That's I mean, heavy, dude. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's hardly the heaviest thing we've heard tonight, but it is kind of heavy. No, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, well, an extra five bucks if you snap four of them. I'd smoke meth than fucking take a rip of a fly, dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you're not. No, no. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude it, it always made me feel really good and happy and grateful to get these updates that you were taking everything so seriously that you were really putting in the work and you know to hear from you and and to just see you become a better version of yourself yeah it means the world to me dude like i'm happy for you i'm proud of you and um you got a girlfriend you've been traveling places with her yeah yeah you were in tahiti 
Yep, just was in Tahiti a month ago. You jumped on Cameo. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> jumped Cameo. On Cameo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was fucking psyched when I was getting Cameos on my surf trip. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is paying for some some dinners and stuff, so I was stoked. What was the decision to go on Cameo with the name Sean McInerney versus Poopies? <laughs> I don't even know. Like, was it Sean McInerney? Yeah. Oh, because when I looked at it, it would say Poopies. So, yeah, if you type in, like, Jackass, uh -huh. Sean McInerney pops up. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's not going to bring in any that's So I thought, like, you no. got sober and, like, you didn't want to be called Poopies anymore. No, no. So you started establishing yourself as Sean McInerney. No, let me check my cameo. Is that uh, how you pronounce your last name, McInerney? Yeah, McInerney. I don't even want to know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't even. Like, I, I don't I like take being... back. I take back that question. I I, I refuse to see now. It's it's on. Yeah, there you go. On okay, poopies. Good. Yeah, poopies. And, and we had a little fun making a video where we were asking celebrities to say and do terrible things on cameo. Yeah, the, and, I just and, watched the video. It's so funny. Is every, that video going up at the same time as this is going out, so they can watch it? Um, yeah, after this, right? They can go watch it. After this is, I I believe that this is out. It it, <laughs> it, it, it is out. Yes. It's out. We Steve uploaded it tonight. It's one of the funniest videos I've seen in a long fucking time, dude. <laughs> it's so great. It's kind of embarrassing now that I like watching oh, it, like dude, the poop it, one. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's the one that's embarrassing for you. It's so funny. We always ask people like, how do they feel about it? It's like everyone has a different like issue with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like the poop. I don't know. Yeah, dude, poop. Nobody else had a problem with the poop. Yeah. No. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's a banger. Yeah, and as people listen to this, we strongly urge you to get on cameo and order a video from poopies i can vouch for the fact that poopies will do anything <laughs> he will say anything uh but please don't ask him to pull out his his wiener yeah no more nudity no more nudity because that will get him suspended again god mm -hmm. i felt awful when we got you suspended oh it's all good do not pull out your wiener on cameo <laughs> yeah no ever again well because i got a warning email oh yeah i think that was from the poop one because you had yeah 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 your, like dick and balls were like oh, no, hanging I think it was low from the, the firefighter one because I did that one at my uh, apartment yeah. in Playa del Rey. The and firefighter then, one would have been the warning, and then the poop yeah, one. Yeah, and then the poop have... one. Because mm. I got the good angle on the poop one. It was like my... You were already, as you were talking. Oh, dude. Yeah, I had like a when poop. the video starts, you're like, like, hey, guys, this is <laughs> <laughs> like, You're like already trying to like work it out. Um, I mean, dude, and, and I, in the video, I said that you know we requested poopies, like, take a dump on his pants. And that we got the video back from Poopies. The the request was fulfilled within thirty minutes. Like that's not. Oh a joke. yeah, I woke up and like I seen this cameo, and I was like, yeah. I was like, I told Hannah, I was like, babe, I got another cameo, and she's like, what is it this time? And I was like, <laughs> you're gonna like this one. And she's like, I don't even. I'm not filming this one. Yeah, but the funniest part about that is <laughs> you're in Tahiti selfie. with your girlfriend. Like, just taking a shit on a pair of pants in your well, room in Tahiti. Well, it, so we were in a treehouse bungalow, so the bathroom <laughs> was downstairs. Yeah. So luckily, um, I, you know, it wasn't in my, my room that I was staying in, but it was in, like, the kitchen. Because, like, there's the... <laughs> the communal kitchen, or was it just your guy's kitchen? It was like, so there's a treehouse... It house. was a communal kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't communal. Oh, I was okay, the only okay. one staying there, but that would have been fucked. It's and, like a hostel, you know. You're just the, like in the the, like, yeah. the, the rec funeral room. request. Were you like, wow, these people like really want me to say this <laughs> to my grandmother? Yeah, I truly believe that I was her last laugh. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you guys did a good job. Yep, <laughs> we really did. It. <laughs> and I'm so gullible, dude. Like, no, and. I, <laughs> and like um, i was just like oh okay well so um now uh like we, we love i love that that video it it urges people to order cameos from you have fun with it you know like like let poopies shine he'll make great videos yeah and uh we really want to support you thanks thanks um is there anything that you won't do he will not show nudity. nudity. That's it. Yeah. Only because 
Cameo will If you guys want to see it. the nudio, go to Steve O's video. The nudio. Go to the nudio. <laughs> if you guys want to yeah. see my wiener butthole, go to Steve O's video and check out the cameos. I, I, I don't have that, dude. Huh? I'm not putting He your... blurred it. Well, yeah, it's blurred. See but you can still, bubble. yeah, you can see, still see what's going on, you know. See what yeah, we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, see what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, now, uh, see what we're talking about. You told us that you've been um, applying for jobs. Yeah, yeah, because like the bank account's getting low, and I don't want to get too low, you know, where I'm like stressing. I'm sure so, there's somebody listening that would love to hire poopies. So right. I'm, I'm good at construction. I love doing construction work, and. Um, yeah, if there's anyone out there that what kind of hiring, construction work do you do? I'll just do do whatever dude. I, I used to frame <laughs> houses really not a frame. Yeah, I used to do it all like I built track homes in La Costa those track homes. Yeah um, b By the Vons right there on El Camino all those track homes. I was a part of but yeah, I mean Whatever you guys need I can learn fast and you're uh, setting up Christmas lights. Yeah, I applied for a Christmas light ins installation. How much are you charging for that? I don't know. I have an interview next week. Oh, it's not your own business? No. I'm pretty sure people would love just to hire you for and you to go around and do it. So, so he, They can DM you. He applied for installing Christmas lights. Did you apply for the UCLA groundskeeper? No, that just popped up. But you're going to apply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. USC. Dude, I don't think you need to apply I anywhere. Applied, I made phone calls today. Um, there's a, a lifeguard needed at the Redondo High School. So I no, called the dude, high school. you don't want to do that shit. I know, I know. What about uh, on-camera stuff? Like, you're you're incredible you're, on camera. Well, everyone's on strike right now. Yeah, but you could They're do, about to settle. They're yeah, close to settling. But yeah. like you're on YouTube content. You, 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 you're not on strike, pal. Yeah, you're not on strike. I know. <laughs> YouTube yeah, podcast. Yeah, I'm, like. send it. <laughs> I'm ready to send it. I'm yeah. ready to work. It's good to be ready to work. And when I'm ready to do the important work of keeping my lady satisfied in the bedroom, I take a blue chew. Why? Because it's got the same active ingredient as both Viagra and Cialis, except it's delicious, chewable, and only costs a fraction of the price. And it helps me get that work in, baby, all the way in. And when I chew my Blue Chew tablet, my tongue becomes blue. I show it to my lady Lux. She screams. And that's because she knows I'm getting ready to do that work and I'm getting ready to do it well. And if you want to give this a shot, I recommend it because it's a lot of fun. Then the good news is Blue Chew is offering you an entire month's supply of Blue Chew tablets absolutely for free. All you pay is five bucks for shipping. Now, how do you get this deal? You go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code Stevo. You consult with the medical provider online. Boom, you got your prescription in a matter of moments. And that entire month's supply is on its way to you absolutely for free. All you pay is five bucks for shipping. And when that package arrives, man, chew it up and get to work. That's right. Have a good time, too. Bluechew.com. Use the promo code Stevo. Now let's get back to it. But yeah, my YouTube videos, I got like YouTube videos stacked, but I don't want to put them out without like YouTube sponsors, you know? I don't know. I'm just not settling for, for that anymore. Yeah, that's good. I want to get um, a paid sponsorship for my YouTube videos. Are you sponsored as like a surfer or like within surfing? Pit Viper. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, you said that you found a sponsor. And the dog shock collar. Yeah, the dog shock collar. And I, they're like, what's your rate? I was like, well, to have you in my video and do product placement. I wouldn't placement, say it on this. It was Yeah, don't give so away your rate, so. I think it sounded like he gave them a very reasonable quote, and they came back with something unreasonably low. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm comfortable saying that. Shockingly low. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so shot caller. Thank you. But it's, honestly, uh, I, I think like I, I think you're gonna get a lot of DMs from this for people that know of jobs that you can work. They would love that, dude. You're a great guy to have around. Thanks. And uh, especially now, like now, like you're reliably 
like yep. employable. Yeah, Reliably. for sure. He's clean and sober. Yeah. Clear he's funny. headed. He's a good looking man. He's got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, stop. Just absolutely <laughs> lovable. That's Thank one thing. We were, we, were, we, were, we were editing together the cameo video, and Scott was like, man, Poopies is just so genuine. Thanks, so Scott. Yeah. And, and well, because you really, he was like, dude, I just feel so bad about the family. Like, he, he, he had the mangina going, but like, he just really felt bad about the funeral. <laughs> like, that was the thought. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can see the empathy, mm -hmm. the compassion oozing out of your mangina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, the best part, uh, yeah, we didn't even put that in there, but uh, you were just like, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the one where I had that chick's ho ass hostage. Yeah, we didn't even inc include that in the video. Um, this is the one where we sent Poopies a request. The very first request we sent said, uh, we want you to... Um, Read, read this script say i have your daughter and i will harm her <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And, and your girl was screaming in the background yeah she's in the shower like help that was a funny touch that was funny yeah like you just made it too casual and and, and easy. yeah that one wasn't good i was just getting warmed up we were just that getting warmed up too you know yeah, that was my like... first one exactly so yeah, that like, one didn't make the cut. It wasn't nothing yeah. to do with you. So yeah, I kept getting these cameos. So I was like, dude, I was like, they're getting better and better. <laughs> well, people like people should also know they can send you like not just things to say or like a birthday wish. Like you'll do like sort of stunts. Like yeah, I can do I can do stunts. I mean, it just like depends, obviously there's a you know, limit. Yeah, not too gnarly of a stunt. You know, of it's not like yeah. If you raise you know tip me a little bit, I'll maybe step it up. You know, little tip on there. <laughs> but yeah. yeah there's those business ones too yeah you can do all kinds yeah. of cameos mm -hmm. those business ones look kind of nice yeah i mean if you want to set your uh your business rate my business rate's high right now yeah yeah um so tell us about your girl oh my girl oh i love her so much um hannah may um i she could facetime her right now she uh she's the best she um so i first met her on bumble when Car in carlsbad um a year and two months ago and i put on my profile that i was sober and i was not sober <laughs> oh, living the, in the, the ultimate catfish i was living in the u-haul <laughs> eating cat food you know what i mean <laughs> what <laughs> You're eating cat food? No, no. no. I was gonna say, I wasn't eating. No, I'm just joking. Um, but um, yeah, so we met and we matched, and she kind of knew something was going on, you know. You were smoking meth at this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you pick her up in the U-Haul? She came in the U-Haul and hung Shut out up. before. She, yeah. she went in the back of the box truck. Yep. What did you have in there? Like a couch, and like dude, an N64, I it or like, out, dude, I. So I had I put two by fours, right? Because there's these little wood things on the side mm -hmm. that you can tie stuff to. So yeah. I put two by fours <laughs> on the half half of the backside and put a plywood down and put a bed up there. But there's only this much room from the bed to the top of the oh to the God. ceiling. Claustrophobia. Yeah, I never slept in it. <laughs> and um and then i put a couch like an l couch in there in the back damn yeah nice. and mm. then i had like everything bungeed up and like had my like tools and stuff and then like i'd have my like Just motorcycle tweaking balls. tweaking balls dude <laughs> Just, everything's organized and bungeed yeah everything because i was mobile you know and so you so it was kind of like a little living room and then it would like i put carpet down and then I put, um, I had this baby changer, and that was like nice. my table. Would you nice. stole it from like yeah, Burger King? <laughs> no, the, the I it off the bathroom wall. I found wall. in like some like trash pile because they're like demolishing this like restaurant or whatever. Yeah. So I just found it, you know, in, on you the know, trash. What was that for? Just like a table to put food and stuff on. <laughs> oh my so god! So wait, when you're showing Hannah this place for the first time, like, what are you kind of like? She's what are like, you bracing I'm not going her for? In there. You know? She's yeah. like, I'm not going in there. You're like, it's gonna but look I just, like, like a meth addict lives in here, but he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure not. I don't know. You gotta get her on the pod for that one. I don't know what she's thinking, but my crib is kind of messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting company. But, but we first met when I had my apartment. 
Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So I had a studio when we first met, and and then you lost it all. No, I lost it all, and she's like, "What's going on with you?" You know, and I didn't want to tell her, and she knew something was going on, and then I freaking lost Grom one day, and mm, I your dog. Yeah, and then I put posters up and and saying lost dog in Carlsbad Village, and one of her friends saw it and took a picture of it and sent it to her, and she called me and she's like, "What the fuck? Like you lost Grom? Like she was more worried about Grom than me." What and happened I, to Grom? Um, I found he was at the pound. I got him out of the pound, but um, I rehomed him. Uh, okay. Yeah, because once I got sober, I was like, dude, I can't take care of a dog right now. I'm like, in recovery, you know, first first stages That's of good, recovery. Man. So I I he's with a friend of mine, Stinky Richard. Nice. <laughs> So, <laughs> with, poopies and Stinky Richard. He's with Stinky Richard, but yeah, Stinky Richard loves him. Like, he's they've known each other since Grom was a baby, and I just want him to be loved, you know. Yeah. So he's 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 be, he's got a good owner that loves him to death and takes care of him. So why are you living in Playa? Why aren't you living down in, in North County? Um, just cause of recovery, dude. Like. I don't want to be like in my hometown, you know. Yeah, I got the old when you're stomping ground. Yeah, it's, it's just like call. when when you get sober, you got to change everything, dude. Your friends, your your lifestyle, your your home, you know your your town that you live in. Like I had to change everything mm -hmm. if I want to stay sober, you know. So I take my my recovery serious. Like I don't want to go back to that life and like. I so I have to change, you know, and I have to change my life and so hmm. and yeah, that's kinda why we moved to Playa del Rey and Hannah's always wanted to move to Playa del Rey since she was a little little girl. It's a nice area. Yeah, it's chill. Super quiet and and my, my um the house or the manager of maintenance guy is he's in recovery too. Small world. Yeah, so he's super rad, older guy, Tom. He has a band and stuff. He's super cool. Have you thought about making putting a ring on it? <laughs> yeah. You want, you want, I mean, how rad? You want to cut that out? No. She she knows. I I've already got the engagement ring. Oh. Wow. Does she know that? She kind of knows it. I told her like I put a down payment for it and like it's getting like like made, you know what I mean? Cuz yeah. her size her size is like a three and a half super tiny so you can't just go to like zales and get a ring for her, you know you mm. got to get it custom so my friend at barnett jewelry is uh making her a ring but i just gotta you know find the right place to drop the knee you know yeah so yeah i'm just waiting for that i'm not gonna do it on my surf tour in hawaii i'm like you know what i mean so right you just want to make sure that you're stealth yeah i want to surprise her you know so she keeps asking like Where's the, I just want it now, you know what I mean? Oh, she says she wants the ring now? Yeah. Wow. So she want I me mean, she wants to get married to you now. Yeah, yeah. She she wants to get married, which is so cool. Like she puts up with me, you know, and like not a lot of people can do that, you know? Well, and she stayed with you through this like downward. Yeah, she's dip. like the ride or die, you know what I mean? Yeah. She is the one. Did she sleep she with the you one. in the in the U Haul? No. No. No, once I lost my apartment, she kind of, we kind of like, we were talking, but we weren't really hanging out, you know? You paid like 20 bucks a day for the U-Haul? Yeah, 20 bucks a day. <laughs> my bill came out to like 1800 bucks at the end of it. It was like a month and a half. Um, yeah. It was kind of just like paying rent. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no electricity. I did that thing out. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> water. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you sleep in your own sewage and. Come to think of it, it's kind of a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Where were you like? Where would you shit? Like I saw a video. You were. You were. I was shitting in like shoeboxes. Yeah, okay, I saw something about you shit. shitting in shoeboxes. Really? <laughs> yeah, or like I'd use my dad's apartment. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Wait, like, what was your rock bottom? <laughs> it was <Goodbye>. New Year's, <laughs> not the U-Haul or shitting in shoebox. Be oh, it was before the phone New charger. Year's. Phone charger. Yeah, phone that's charger. what did San Jose it. homeless. Yeah, begging yeah. for change. Who's the? How, how did the guy take your U-Haul? You, were you hanging out with him before? Yeah, I, we were supposed to go up to Sacramento to get a van and turn in my U-Haul so I could live in his van. And by van, you mean meth? 
<laughs> no, so this guy I was with, I never did drugs with him. Really? Yeah. But he was on something. Like, I don't know if he was taking pills or whatnot, but I never did drugs with him. And, like, I think he was, like, kind of manic and, like, a little bit out there, you know? Yeah, and you were just hanging out with him up there? Well, I seen him at State Beach at my low, at the parking lot in State Beach. Yeah. And then... You're like, oh, dude, what up? Yeah, he kind of, like, he, you know, kind of, like, he kind of, like, thinks he's a rapper. Mm. How long did it take for you guys to hang out for him to steal from you? To steal the U-Haul, the the U-Haul got taken because I was staying at a friend's house, and this guy I was with in the U-Haul, because I I was like, just hop in my U-Haul, you know, we'll go up to Sacramento and grab his his van he had on his property, and um, so he was overstaying at a friend's house in San Jose, and the my friend worked at six a.m. in the morning. So I stayed the night there. He went to the U-Haul to sleep in the U-Haul. And I came out that morning and the U-Haul was gone. Wow. And you never saw it again? He turned it in for me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where? He took all my stuff out and turned it in. Oh, so he did you a huge favor. Yeah. Oh. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And then how'd but you get then, back home? But then he didn't, though, because he wasn't answering his phone. He left me on the streets. Well, how'd you get back home? He finally came with a Suburban he got from his property in Sacramento oh. with all my stuff in it and picked oh. me up at this hotel because I called my dad. I was like, Dad, I'm fucking stuck in San Jose. He got me a hotel that night so I wasn't freezing in the streets. And then the guy finally came. Dude, the guy never freaking slept. And I never did drugs with the guy. I was like, what is this guy on, dude? And he freaking drove to Sacramento and back to San Jose, <clears throat> dropped off the U-Haul, put all, all my stuff in his Suburban, and picked me up the next day. And we drove back to Carlsbad, and that's when I reached out for help. Jesus wow. Christ. So wait, he woke up, maybe he just woke up, he was like on meth, and he was like, I'm not waiting for this guy to wake up, I'll just do the trip on my own. Yeah, it was weird though, because I never, like we never did meth together. I don't know what he was on, but. Well, he's just not a sharer. Like, yeah, like your other bro. He, he's probably just closet tweaker. Yeah, you know? closet tweaker. Like, I'm not going to let him know I, I have some. He's going to smoke it all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What was Hannah doing when you were going through all that? Um, She was not talking to me. Um, yeah. So, and then I, so then when I lost Grom, back to the Grom story, when I lost Grom, her friend sent her a picture of the lost, lost dog thing. And she called me, where's Grom? I go, I lost him, and then I found him, and then she's like, I want to, like, I was at State Beach, and she was, like, down the street, I guess, and she came and saw me, and that's when she's like, you need, like, you need to tell me what's going on, like, I was like, all right, well, I've been freaking on meth for the last eight months, and she's like, I knew you are on something, like, and then she's like, if you want want to be with me, you need to get professional help, and you need to freaking go to rehab and like get your shit together mm -hmm. so she's a ride or die she's a ride or die so she's been through the whole me freaking being in a u-haul to now where i'm sober and she's the best she supports my sobriety a hundred percent and yeah That's we good, have dude. a great life now yeah That's and good, i bro. just i s support whatever she wants to do and yeah, we love each other very, very much. So. What's going on with your surfing? Surfing, I'm ripping. Yeah, is your uh, shark bite hand in the way of your surfing? No, no, it's it's good. It just you know. So your shark bite hand is kind of messed up for the rest of your life. There's no yeah, way like that. it doesn't like I made sure like it bends up so I could stand up, but it doesn't bend down. You know, right. So it's good for surfing, but bad for everything else. Good for surfing, just bad for like putting stuff in the, like my backpack. Like, you know, when you reach around, put your mm -hmm. water bottle in there or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like weird, like positions where you can't really like. <clears throat> Can you twist it? Like, okay, that's good. Dude, your hand got mangled. Mangled. That was gnarly, that. dude. I, I think about it every day. Do you have dreams about it? No, thank God. How many views is the shark attack on your YouTube channel? I think the last time I looked, it was 1.7 million. We made Sick. a banger. Yeah, and I was like, how do I get another million million view um, video? You, you got, got one make, more hand. 
I think we can. I think we could do it. Well, uh, what's the one? Uh, didn't you and I have one like uh, your ten? Oh yeah, the ten most. Um, That's like two or three gnarliest, thousand. gnarliest land stunts. Yeah. That's at like six hundred thousand. Good. What yeah. about? Uh, did you ever do the water stunts? You got the ten gnarliest no, yeah. land stunts. Yeah, I know, but Red Bull has all that footage, and I can't get all the footage from Red Bull. Well, isn't it just on YouTube? It's licensed. Yeah, but you can use uh, fair usage law. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you explain fair usage law? Okay. Um, Sorry, I just I think no, that's good because people hear about it a lot, but it's yeah, good we, to we talk about it a lot too, and I'm like I'm uncertain that I know what it is. Fair usage. Um, it was. Uh, it it was determined that when people copyright footage, that it's kind of not fair that uh that they can just tie it up and and preclude anybody from from using it when if you use copyrighted footage in a way that is providing commentary like you know Your changing WWE. the meaning of it yeah like you can't just take it you can't just take somebody else's copyrighted footage and just like put it as is somewhere else but if you're commenting on it oh. if you're adding narrative if you're using that uh copyrighted material to illustrate a point to make a point then uh the law d was made that you're allowed to do that like uh um, so poopies can make a video commentating on the actual yes. Absolutely, that falls under fair usage okay. law. If if Poopies is if Poopies is going to take Red Bull's copyrighted footage and make his own video where he's adding commentary to describe I see. how and why these were the gnarliest wow, ten stunts. I see. I see. That's great. You should do that. Yeah. How do you pull that footage out? That's why. That's how we make all of my top ten yeah. craziest shark encounter videos. Yeah, top I just 10... thought. I thought the fair usage law was because you were in it, you could do that for yourself. I didn't realize it was for the commentating. No, it's really got nothing to do with that. I mean, it probably <laughs> protects you because it's like I can give unique commentary. Like I'm in it. I can tell. Maybe if it came to like yeah, some kind of a decision, but when we go and make the 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 one about the. Gnar the gnarliest ever thing that we're working on. I'm not in any of that, but we'll be able to do You're it. You're commentating. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How do you pull that footage out of there? I'll though? show you poops. Did There's you, like okay. websites you Did can you use to Did you burn bridges with it. Jack? Um, no. He was a good guy He for was you. good. He was good. I just couldn't afford him. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we always liked him. The biggest problem was that he's Jackson. allergic to dogs. Mm. And trying to get me anywhere without a dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> now we got two. We've never had two dogs in the in the van before. Yeah, I still talk to him and stuff. Cool. Yeah, it's right here. Like we should mention that Lucy here. Yeah, we're... she came from Hawaii, dude. Oh, really? So we got her. We got Lucy here. What's um, her full name? Uh, Lucy Lahui. Lucy Lahui. Yeah, what's because... up? How old is she? Uh, she just turned two. Oh, nice. Still sister. A baby. Oh, sister. Yeah, we were on. Uh, a, a trip to, Kauai. to Hawaii. We were in Kauai, <clears throat> and she came from the Kauai Humane Society. No way. What's up? And the Kauai Humane Society has a dope thing where um, they've got like a deal with the airline. So if you're a tourist in Kauai who lives in mainland America um, and you want to get a dog free of charge, they will ship that dog on the airline to your city in, in America. No way. Wow. Yeah, we didn't wow. have to pay for anything. They flew Lucy LaHui. That's rad. They, they should they, all do that. They I flew mean... her to L.A. and we picked her up at the airport in L.A. That's so rad. And she's since become uh, a service animal. Wow. Yeah. That must have been hard. She's, 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 <laughs> I hate this mustache, dude. I'm like getting really? Rid of this I like it. I mean, dudes like it, but like it's just a little creepy. Yeah, I mean, you look it's a like big. You look like it's the not, sheriff. It's not been getting in the way of you putting numbers on the board. Dude, I'm just getting bullied for getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. You you look good, good with look. the mustache. You look like but the all sheriff. dudes are like, I love the mustache, and then it's like chicks are just like, stay away from me, pervert. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's not yeah, the case. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you've been doing your podcast still? Yeah, 
doing my podcast. The shittiest still. podcast. Shittiest podcast ever. Just had Jim Jeffries on. Has that not been published? Did you put it out yet? No, no. I'm trying to wait for a podcast sponsor. I got all this stuff like in the hard drive. But I'm just trying to find sponsors, do it the right way. You know what I mean? I'm trying I mean, to get paid. Maybe if you uh, consistently put the podcast out and get the numbers up higher, that would be the better way to attract the sponsors. I know, and I've done that, though. Yeah, but I think, like, you would, it, you can just be by yourself on the podcast, so, like, consistency is going to be your friend. Because yeah. you're a funny guy. Like, even doing commentating on videos like we're you know for the fair use law like mm -hmm. dude i would love to hear you give your take on the news or current events dude yeah i mean yeah what was it philip defranco he put him to shame for hmm. sure yeah oh like, i had um oh, I just you were on me. zach's podcast how did yeah that, yeah how did that zach's podcast was sick i think zach is uh zach's a creative guy I think that he sure. he did a good job um, as a podcast host. I watched your episode with him. Oh, sick! <coughs> yeah, we just went to um, the Universal Studios um, scare scare Fright fest or something or yeah. whatever they have. Halloween horror. I'm going to go there Saturday. Sick! Yeah, we went to the Chucky one. Oh, they have different ones. Yeah, there's Chucky and there's the ones with all the Universal uh, monsters. Ooh, it was cool. This one freaking Chucky comes out and he's they spray water out of his mouth. Wow. I was like, Chucky just spit on me. What the fuck? <laughs> so what? You and Zach <laughs> went together? Yeah. Nice. Like yeah. after the podcast. Mm -hmm. What about a podcast like Two Bears kind of thing? Like you and Zach do a podcast together or something? Yeah, I think he just wants to do his own thing. Yeah, that's cool. Which I would. I was thinking about getting Dark Shark on my podcast and having yeah. him be my co-host mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, you have know? you been in regular contact with Zach? Yeah. And, and he's doing good? Yeah, he's got a um, show tonight at the Improv in Orange County. Oh, wow, cool. He's stand-up. Is he just, stand -up. Who, who's he with? Is he solo? No, there, he's in the roster. Yeah, cool. Yep, and then he's going, I forget where he's going, but he's going somewhere, and then he'll be back um, like November 5th or something. Or the he first. was at, he hosted the main stage of the Gathering of the Juggalos. Mm. Zach did when <laughs> recently this past year, and and I asked him, um, did you show the jugglers your butthole? Because <laughs> that's what they do. They scream, "Show us your butthole!" Yeah. And, and <laughs> his response was so great. He goes, "No, I butt chugged Faco." <laughs> wow! <laughs> Shut up. Bravo, bravo, Zach. That's a good one. That's yeah. gnarly. He butt chugged Faco. That's Damn, epic. Zach's so funny. His stand up was really cracking me out. By the time this comes out, does your secret mission, speaking of ICP, does that come out yet? Um, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Not quite. <sighs> but can we talk about it? I mean, you talked about sure, it with Violin J. Sure, I recorded song, dog. I, oh, really? It's kind of the sickest rap song Because didn't time. you just post something that you, your rap career failed? Yes, and now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up, Ubi. Yes, and now I am redeeming myself. <laughs> yeah. It's a rap redemption, dog. Let's go. Yeah, it's yeah. a sick-ass song. Sick. I want to get on the track. I mean, there will be more tracks, dog. Let's go. Yeah. He's spitting fire right now. Really? I, uh, I, <laughs> I, don't mean, he, I don't mean to brag, but he's spitting fire right now. Sick. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Hell that's yeah. been that's been fun. I mean, we've been <laughs> yeah. filming content, so like your we've YouTube been, channel, get ready because it's going to go off. Yeah, we've been we've been hitting it pretty hard, man. Good, because now my tour is over, and I'm like, I'm not on the road. Like, what am I going to mm -hmm. be doing? You got time. I just, just got to like, gosh. Do you have any good ideas? Yep. For for for, for footy. Yep. I want to I want to do some <laughs> like stunts because my stunts get the most views. Mm -hmm. You know. I got this idea where you know you take you know those mechanical things that guys lay on and they go underneath the car with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take that down a hill. Backyard luging. Sick. <laughs> Wear a um, helmet. San Francisco. <laughs> uh there's a hill right by my house. Yeah. It goes straight down. But you just gotta watch out for the cars. <laughs> well, aren't you going to no go underneath them? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by design, you would go underneath them. <laughs> that would be gnarly. You clip your nose, you just freaking lose your face. Um, I, I would ask um, that you figure out a way to 
make it funny because just bombing the hill yeah like well it's it, all it's all about the lead up you know like getting it out of my garage like i've been looking at this hill for the last two months now right and, and i think that you could get really worked and have it not even like necessarily be that funny where like maybe it's more of like a like a prank kind of a situation, mm -hmm. you know, like where oh, you, you yeah, have some, but... like some, some situation where you can roll out from underneath something. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, Cause I got a like garage, surprise. I got a garage in the alley. Yeah. Like what, <laughs> like uh... the whole video, you're like rolling out from under stuff, like <laughs> yeah, under yeah, a vending yeah. machine. Like when someone goes to buy something, like you roll out, like, can <laughs> yeah. you hand me the screwdriver or like yeah, something like that? Yeah, like all over different shit. Idea. That is a good idea. I mean, I would just, I, I, I would urge you to find ways to film funny stuff mm -hmm. more than like just stuff where you can really get broken yeah that's a really break one too for sure <clears throat> yeah like our buddy tanner who's always bombing hills it's like oh man i get anxiety watching him yeah they get the speed wobbles yeah dude it's scary yeah so what what else is going on man what what uh like you're not messing around with any of that like uh what was it called like poopies doobies or something no that's over yeah that's good man no yeah, no, no, no more no more cannabis nope it's mm. good dude i'm clean and sober i love that yep i love that um what's your favorite thing about being sober just enjoying the moment the present yeah i think mine are naps yeah, because I was daytime naps. I napped. I napped. Steve-O called me today, and I was napping, and I, I seen. I just woke up from my nap, and I seen missed call from Steve-O. And I was like, he's like, come over. I was like, okay. I just woke up from nap, yeah. but I'm on my way. Yeah, I we like naps. Need... I like just like being a better poopies sober sex. We don't talk. I can't really talk about that, but I just like being. <laughs> Sorry. I just like being a better poopies, you yeah. know? I don't, you know, and I'm proud of that. Yeah, it's good to get through a day knowing that you didn't make anybody really mad at you. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't for feel sure. guilty all the time for no reason. Yeah, yep. and I have self-worth. That is the most awesomest thing about sobriety is self-worth. Yep. You know? I love it. Yeah, so I was, it's it's crazy what... what um, how much work I've been doing. Um, but yeah, there's there's all kinds of stuff I can get into. Like, You look different. You look healthy. I f yeah, I f my, my chicks got me on all gluten-free diet. Yeah. Yeah, so no gluten. Um, try not to eat like meat, only ground turkey. And just like no lactose. A pretty good diet. That's good, dude. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna <laughs> give a shout out to Pit Viper. Yeah, Pit are they, Viper. Are they, are they throwing you a little bit of loot? Yeah, dude, Pit Viper. Yeah, can, can they like buy like some gla like poopies glasses or like we use don't a have link? a signature model yet. Do you, is there like a discount code they can use by using poopies? I don't even think we have a promo code. We did, but I don't know. They kind of just like stopped the promo code. But those are those rad glasses that you always wear, the like big ones yeah. that like wrap around now. Yeah, nice. Fuck you yeah. and Scum Dog. Scum dog. Scum dog. Scummy Diener. Scummy Diener. Scummy Diener. I miss that guy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He's so funny. But yeah, Pit Viper shout out. Um, you got that that uh, Pit Viper bromo code? The bromo code? Yeah, code poopies. <laughs> yeah, Isn't that what it is to ask? See what happens. Yeah, but I just made it up just now. I never, I never I'll heard hit a Pit bromo, Viper right now. You, you, you got a week. You got a week made to that do it. Up. Yeah. That's good. I thought you said bromos. I was stealing it from you. No, I, that was no. <laughs> no, we gotta wait until like, this forgot. comes out so I can tell him to make a promo code. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a thing in Neil deGrasse Tyson. He was like, "Thanks for saying that, Scott." And you're like, "What did I say?" Like it was like a whole thing. You're like, "I don't even yeah. remember what I said." Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast, like, me and Steve were just like two idiots in the back of the classroom, like, huh? Like <laughs> I couldn't even understand what the fuck, and you understand <laughs> everything. It's because he's on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Micro yeah. does. That's true. Yeah. Micro That's does. What it takes. All right, dude. Well, fuck. Uh, anything else, poopies, man? Can we can we give any love? Can we give any um, support? Can we promote anything? Mm, oh, we want people to hire you for odd jobs. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I need work. Odd I do need jobs. Work. Or cameo. Receptionist cameo, work. Odd jobs. Mm -hmm. 
Like, hey, you're going to do receptionist work. Okay. Yeah. Secretary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nurse's assistant. <laughs> that, yeah. Um, you should at least film all this shit. This is a YouTube series. Like, Poopies does odd jobs. Like, today I got hired to, like... Like, as a busboy. As a busboy. Here yeah. we go. And, like, film it and put it yeah. out as a YouTube video. I need video. to get a filmer. Any filmers <laughs> out there? How I'm about, sure. dude, we should reach out to Trip and be like... Well, isn't Nitro Circus in town? Can't you meet up with them when they're in Anaheim and do something crazy at the fucking... I've been trying to meet up with those guys for so long. I've been talking with um, Beaver Fleming. Yeah, yeah. I think they they have like a, a, a guest spot for, for like a big influencer to do something at their right. event yeah. in Anaheim. I, I keep hitting up Beaver and he's like, yeah, I'll hit you up, I'll hit you up. But like, in, I don't know, it never got back to me. All right, what were you going to say, Steve? You, I you was going to say, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I, lo I love you, poopies. Love you, too. Everybody hire poopies for jobs. He'll do or anything. Order his cameos. <laughs> support support poopies. Yeah, thank you. Support his sobriety and support his health. Yes. And support his life. Please. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you for having me on again. Dude, love Appreciate you, it. Love you too, boys. Love you, dude. Love you guys. You're a completely you, different poops. person from the last time we did the podcast. It's good yeah, to see. For sure. <laughs> I'm a changed man, dude. Love you, dude. Love ah. you too. No gluten, no mess. <laughs> <laughs> a lovable young man, poopies. And man, a sad story, too. You got to just feel for him. I'm rooting for him. And I want you to know I appreciate you very, very much. Uh, as I sit here today, um, celebrating the release of my bucket list special. If you haven't seen it, please, please get over to stevo.com and support the bucket list. Um, I've definitely been uh, burning the candle at both ends, man. I'm uh, pretty, pretty burned out on all, all the work I've been doing. But hey, man, it's worth it. And again, please do check out the bucket list at stevo.com. Um, other than that, man, my street team, people, I love you and thank you. And I'm going to bed. <laughs>